So I've come back after I have sprayed my plant with um, fungicide and it is having a good soak. All the aerial roots have nicely greened up and while I was off camera I gave the stem part all in here a good little scrub. Got all the grotty black bits out of there to try and keep any amount of um, a fungus or a mould or a anything away from the plant. This is systemic so that's all the little bits that have come off the stem and hopefully this has been long enough but this plant I'm going to really have to watch it. I don't want to lose it. It's a really pretty plant. It was a really unusual one as well. Um, I'm a little reluctant to stick all of these roots in the potting media because they have been aerial roots and they've been used to being very dry and I could quite easily lose these roots as well putting them in the pot um, in a media that's a lot wetter than they're used to being they've just had slightly damp loose um, moss around them on the outside edge of the pot however there's nothing really else to stick in the pot so I'm going to um, give it a try and watch, watch it very closely. So the reason that I try and keep all of my orchids um, from having these bamboo stakes are they go mouldy when your media is damp and of course it's winter here, it's the middle of a cold rainy day outside um, even though my house is at 20 degrees I have 68% air humidity here so I have put some of the, the moss from the mix along the bottom where the roots probably aren't really going to get to just yet so it will stay damp and just to pick a little bit more of the moss out of the actual media I'm using so that um, the bits I am going to put down in the pot are not getting too wet. So I'm going to risk three roots down in the pot and try and work around those three roots and um, leave some out and try and get my stake back in there and try and keep my flower stalk somewhat upright so I'm going to have to pop this back in good thing about it being plastic is it's not going to rot so if you wonder why I have so many of the coloured plastic stakes again it's for that particular purpose so I'm going to try and keep those roots to the edge of the pot where I can watch them. So this is going to be a bit of a tricky pot. Oops, repot. It really is. Need ten hands. And I'll probably make a huge big mess because I don't have a smaller container under here. Some of that, that perlite does actually wash out through the holes since I like my pots with big holes in them, but it doesn't really matter. Get more out of the pot than in the pot. So this is new, what you guys call Orkiata bark that comes from New Zealand. For me it's bark that comes from the um, next little township up the road from New Plymouth. So it's been pre-soaked, so it's pretty wet. It's been pre-soaked for probably two or three days. I was expecting to repot something different than this plant. So it's probably going to have to go by the fan to make sure that that doesn't get over moist but I still want to try and keep those roots visible so that is still not exceptionally stable in that pot but I don't want to push the bark media down too far um, I want it to be pretty airy at the moment and I will uh, maybe buy another plastic stake for that one and stake it from the other side as well or I might just try it with that 
pop it up with some bigger bits of bark behind it so that the actual orchid can sit up a little bit more upright. I find that if you have the really big chunky bits of bark, they come in handy for holding orchids upright. So I am going to reclip the stem and then we're going to watch this orchid really, really closely. So I might do a few updates with this one in quick succession. Just, oh, wonderful. Right. I have a feeling I just snapped that. I heard a snap. And I can't tell with gloves on. Well, we will soon tell. If the top of that stalk dies off, that's why Esther snapped it. So I think we'll just loosely leave that there, not fiddle with it anymore, and see what happens. So this one is definitely going to have to be watched over the next few days. They need to be um, misted, maybe. And I would like to be watching very closely what those roots are doing here. So they have plenty of air around them even though the media is like really soaking wet. So they should hopefully be fine, but we'll soon find out. Alrighty. Thanks very much for watching my channel. That's how to deal with an orchid with a um, really bad root system. If you like this video, give me the thumbs up. If you didn't give me the thumbs down, maybe give me a comment. And subscribe to my channel if you ha would like to watch more interesting videos. Thank you, bye.